the Excel sheets that you'll see if you open Excel. It's important to note that the tabs for Excel appear across the foot of the page. So you can see here we've got the price list, haddock, soup and the various different items that you're going to cost with your recipe costing sheets. If you've not used Excel before or not familiar, the little boxes that you can see, these grids here and where my mouse is, these little boxes are called cells. You can enter in the cell using um, letters and put words in or numbers and within the cell too they can be very clever. If you um, give the correct information to that little box it will do a calculation for you and that's by um, a formula. To make any cell into one that's ready to accept a formula to do the work for you you would use the symbol equals. On your keyboard you'll see the equal sign. I'm going to show you how we're going to start off the recipe costing sheet and across the header here it's asking for the name of the dish. So at this point if you type in this cell here that's greyed out you'll notice as you do type in that cell what appears also is the same up on this formula bar. So if I'm going to type lemon tart here which is the dish that we're working on, you'll notice as I type it appears across this ribbon here, the formula bar. So if I want to change it, if I've made a mistake and I want to say lemons in a tart, then I can change it on the, the formula bar or down here in the cell. Type in today's date and then please look at your workbook and you'll notice the number of portions for this recipe and enter it in this cell. To work in the cell that you want to, you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to go up and down or your mouse. You'll notice as you move to a cell that a solid line circles, sorry not circles, puts a border around that box or that cell and it knows then that's where you want to put your information. We're going to have a look at the cost that it's going to cost for the eggs within this lemon tart and to do that we're going to link the recipe costing sheet to the price list. Down across the tabs at the bottom, as I say, you can see one here that's named price list. We'll click on it for the moment and just have a look. You can see all the products listed in alphabetical order. And clearly there's a, a row here with details about eggs. They're sold by the dozen. That means they come in packs of 12. That's a dozen. And we're just going to go back now to the lemon tart recipe costing sheet. And I'm doing that just by clicking on either one of these tabs that appear at the foot of the page or the excise sheet. Let's have a look at the eggs then. So across the row it says we need eight eggs to make this particular tart. However, they're sold in packs of 12. So we can't go into a supermarket or a supplier and just pick out eight random wee single eggs, wee sad eggs. They come with a wee family in a pack of 12. We're not going to need the full pack when we're making this tart, so we want to find out how much it's going to cost for the quantity of eggs that we are going to use. To do that then we're going to link it to the price list and we're going to use a thing called the lookup formula. Take your cursor to the cell under the unit cost column on the row for the eggs. Each cell has a reference and you can see the column that I'm operating in here for unit cost is column E and the row that I'm working in is row 17 where I've got my information about eggs. So this little cell here is called E17 just so that you know that's the reference. We don't need to be working with that right now but you will see it appear. Because we want this little cell to do some work and have a formula in it, the first thing we're going to do is put in the symbol for formulas in a cell. And that symbol we're going to use is the equal sign. And the equal sign basically tells that little cell, here comes a formula. The formula we're going to use is the one linked to price list. So we're then going to click on the tab for price list. And working our way down to the row with eggs, take your cursor across to the column that has the price and you can see it's 72 pence for a dozen. 
Now that I've clicked on that cell with the price, you can see that the border around the cell has become a broken flashing edge and this signifies that it's part of a formula. We want to lift that price and pop it into our recipe costing sheet. So to do that, we're going to hit on our keyboard, hit the enter key. And rather magically, it's pulled the price for eggs from the price list, the current price list, and it's populated it into the cell for the unit cost. It's 72 pence for 12 of these eggs, but we want to find out how much would it cost just for eight of the eggs, because that's the amount of money we need to attribute to this tart for eggs. So let's go to the cost cell, and again, we're going to put in a formula starting with the symbol equals for the formula. We're then going to select this cell, which we know is E17, but, but just by clicking on it, the computer knows that too. And we want to divide by the number of eggs we're using to find out how much would it cost just for one single egg. So because we're going to divide, we're going to use a symbol which is the forward slash on your keyboard. So you'll notice in this cell, we're going to put in the forward slash and we're going to divide it by the purchase unit which in this case is 12. So we're going to click on that cell again and then we're going to multiply it because by dividing by the purchase unit we are now finding out how much it is for one wee single egg. But of course we need 8 so we're going to have to multiply it by 8. The symbol in Excel that we use for multiplication is the little asterisk above the number 8 on your keyboard. So let's pop that in there. And then we want to select the quantity. So click on that cell and again you can see the border around it has become the broken flashing line because it's part of a formula. And going across to our formula box we can see that we've taken the unit cost, divided by the purchase unit and multiplied by the quantity. To calculate this now using this formula simply hit the enter key on your keyboard and it works it out for you. You've not needed to use your calculator. So work down each of these rows with the ingredients for your recipe costing sheet and then what we're going to do is we're going to total up all these costs that you've got for the ingredients to find out how much it actually costs to produce this tart for um, the number of portions we're making.